Hello and welcome. This is Wrestling Jeopardy. My name is Kevin J. Callis. And I just got one more thing to say to you, and that is yeah! 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 And it's time to play the game. So let's go to the board now and see the categories you'll be quizzed on, starting with Latino Heat, the career of one Eddie Guerrero. Next up we have I Lie, followed by I Cheat, and then I steal, and last but certainly not least, just so you know, you Star Wars fans, I didn't forget about you. The final category this week for the round of Jeopardy is May the 4th be with you. Yahoo! And if this is your first time playing, welcome aboard. We appreciate you stopping by. Here are the rules that are not too extreme. We've recently added a daily double to the Jeopardy round. And if you want to cheat and break the rules and be the dirtiest player in the game, well then, you do you, you're gonna have to deal with those consequences on your conscience, not me. Right. All right, so let's kick things off with the 200 point round, starting with Eddie Guerrero for 200. One of Eddie's greatest accomplishments in the wrestling world was capturing the WWE Championship by defeating this wrestler at the 2004 No Way Out pay-per-view. Emanating from the world-famous Cow Palace in California, that night Eddie defeated the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. And moving on to I Lie for 200, the extent to which this former WWE chairman has lied in real life is a discussion in and of itself. I mean, what do you really want to say? I'm not going to get into the details. What's that smell? But the correct answer is, who is Vince McMahon? I think I'm going to go to the nearest nudie bar and, and have a drink. <laughs> Come on, Tajiri, you're coming with me. Come on. Moving on quickly to I Cheat for 200. This Hall of Fame manager wasn't called the brain for nothing. He was the champion of cheating. The answer here is the one and only Bobby the Brain Heenan. That brings us to I Steal for 200. Referring to himself as the real world's champion, this wrestler brought big gold onto television with him, leading to lawsuits between WCW and the WWF over the stolen championship belt. With a tear in my eye, the correct answer is the nature boy, Ric Flair. Well, lo and behold, did you think it wasn't going to happen? And let's finish up the 200-point round with May the 4th be with you. Mercedes Monet, formerly known as Sasha Banks, starred as Casca Reeves and appeared in three episodes total over seasons two and three of this Disney Plus series. This is the way, and the answer is The Mandalorian. I would like to see the baby. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my goodness. Now that was fairly painless, right? Hopefully you went five for five and got yourself a cool 1,000 points. Things start to pick up a little bit though with a 400 point round. These clues get a little bit more difficult, starting with the career of Eddie Guerrero, one of Eddie's signature maneuvers. In his later days with the WWE was this series of three suplexes combined together. Thanks to Guerrero's leg kick afterward that allowed him to roll his opponent over to land the next one. The people of Santa Poco always appreciated when Eddie did this maneuver. The correct answer, what is the three amigos? I'm Lucky Day. I'm the Nidalander. I'm Dusty Bottoms. So together we're the three amigos. <laughs> All right, here comes I Lie for 400. This wrestler has made a career out of hitting people with RKO's out of nowhere, which just goes to show how untrustworthy he can be. And of course, the answer we're looking for, who is the Viper Randy Orton? Heading over to I Cheat for 400. The Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, not only delivered great promos, he did it loud and clear via this communication piece which also came in quite handy as a weapon. And the answer, that would be a megaphone. 
All right, here comes I Steal for 400. In 1995, French Canadian pirate Jean Pierre Lafitte decided to get into a feud with this wrestler by stealing his signature pink and black jacket. This feud certainly was not the best there is, the best there was, or the best there ever will be. The correct answer we're looking for, who is Bret the Hitman Hart? <laughs> and closing out the 400 point round, may the fourth be with you. Often resorting to bizarre motivational tactics, this former tag team partner of Booker T even went so far as to dress up like Darth Vader. And the correct answer we're looking for, who is Gold Dust? Booker, the force is strong with you. All right, 10 questions down, 15 to go. If you're having a good time, I'd really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button and also the ringy dingy uh, ding dong notification so you get notified every time we come out with a brand new episode of Wrestling Jeopardy, which is every weekend specifically on Saturdays. Now can you dig that, sucker? All right, the 600 point round begins with Eddie Guerrero. Eddie lost his WCW Cruiserweight Championship to Rey Mysterio at 1997's Halloween Havoc, where this was the special match stipulation. And the answer is title versus mask. On to I Lie for 600. With his pipe bomb promo ability and in-ring storytelling prowess, this wrestler once said the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. And the correct answer is who is CM Punk. Tell me when I'm telling lies. All right, moving on now to I Cheat for 600. Known for secretly hiding bags of Japanese salt on his person and throwing the pellets into the eyes of opponents, this manager was known as the Devious One. That would be the sneaky, devious Mr. Fuji. <laughs> and we're on to the 600 point clue from I Steal. The Undertaker's urn wasn't just a prop. It was also the source of his magical powers, which made it the perfect target for thievery. Like when this wrestler stole it, melted it down, and turned it into a gold chain. And the correct answer, who is the ultimate fighting machine, Kama. And closing out the 600 point round, may the fourth be with you. During a 2012 promo, John Cena referred to this wrestler as Bro Baka, the Woo Woo Wookie. And the correct answer is the number one broski and a huge Star Wars fan, Zack Ryder. The entire galaxy was involved. Jabba the Funkasaurus, Han Solo, Bro, Bro Baka the Woo Woo Wookie. What's up, bro? <laughs> Sweet. All right, let's kick off the 800 point round. Eddie Guerrero, Eddie's catchphrase, Viva la Raza, which translates to mean this, was a representation of his pride in his Mexican heritage and his connection with his fans. You know, I wish I'd been able to roll my R's. I took Spanish in grade school. I've never been able to roll them. Viva la raza. I can't do it. Orale, Holmes! You're bilingual now, huh? But the correct answer is long live the people. All right, moving on to I lie for 800. This wise man can essentially say whatever he wants, true or not, and not face any repercussions as he has always been protected by his guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the correct answer is Paul Heyman. And just in case you're watching this, hey, network, I dare you to throw me off the air. Cheaters for eight. Despite his penchant for breaking the rules, wrestling fans will forever remember with great fondness whenever this manager would call them pencil neck geeks. 
This guy was truly an all-timer. The correct answer, who is classy? Freddie Blassie. Remember about that, you pencil neck geek. All right, here comes I Steal for 800. To goad Hulk Hogan into a championship match, this wrestler stole Hogan's title belt and destroyed it with a hammer during an episode of Saturday Night's Main Event. Now this would have been a great angle to, to kick off a feud between Hogan and Greg the Hammer Valentine. What do you say? But unfortunately that never happened. The correct answer, who is Mr. Perfect? I can't believe, ladies and gentlemen, what I am eyewitnessing in all my years of covering the World Wrestling Federation. And let's close out the 800 point round. Moving on to, may the fourth be with you. All right, bravo, a daily double. You know the deal with this. You're gonna take some time, think about how much you wanna wager, and then I'm gonna read the clue and you'll have five seconds to correctly answer the question. All right, this episode's Daily Double from May the 4th Be With You. On a promotional tour for Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, in 1999, this wrestler played the role of Darth Vader. However, there's no truth to the rumor he ever muttered the phrase, Luke, I'm your fella. It's a shameful thing, Lobster Head, if you didn't bet a lot for this Daily Double because the correct answer, who is Seamus? I am your fella! All right, you hear that music, you see the steel cage getting ready to lower. We've reached the most difficult round in Jeopardy, the thousand point round, the steel cage begins to lower, the ominous music begins to play. Let's get those thinking caps on as we're going to Eddie Guerrero's career for 1000, starting with Guerrero's autobiography published in 2005, delves into his struggles with addiction, personal demons, and the intense rivalries that shaped his journey in the world of sports entertainment. And the correct answer is, what is cheating death, stealing life? And we're on to I Lie for 1000, the backstabbing this wrestler delivered to Shawn Michaels on the infamous edition of the highlight reel was truly despicable. And the correct answer is the wizard, the Ocho, the goat, Chris Jericho. Oh I cheat for 1,000. With his always present tennis racket in tow, outspoken manager Jim Cornette started his own regional wrestling promotion in 1991 called this. And the answer we're looking for, what is Smoky Mountain Wrestling? I steal for 1,000. In 2007, Crime Time stole Lance Cade and Trevor Murdoch's hats on a couple different occasions, giving away Cade's hat for free and selling Murdoch's hat for how much money? This was a bargain. They sold the hat for $2. Yo, 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 yo. Brooklyn, Brooklyn. And let's close out the Jeopardy round. May the 4th be with you for 1,000. While wrestling for WCW in the early 90s, nature boy Buddy Landell used a knockoff piece of Star Wars sounding production music for his entrance theme called this. All right, I totally don't expect anybody to get this question right. I find your lack of faith disturbing. But if you do, please leave a comment below. The correct answer is, what is the force? All right, that brings us to Final Jeopardy. Start tallying up your scores and see how you did. Hopefully you did good. Big man! Let's find out what this episode's Final Jeopardy category is. Inanimate mascots. Now us wrestling fans have seen tons of inanimate mascots and objects used for a character, such as weapons, dolls, and instruments. So think about that and place your wagers. All right, time is up. Let's take a look at the final clue in Inanimate Mascots. Driven insane by his Uncle Eddie's popularity in WCW, Chavo Guerrero Jr. adopted a children's toy horse and named him 
this. Good luck. Driven insane by his Uncle Eddie's popularity in WCW, Chavo Guerrero Jr. adopted a children's toy horse and named him this. Apparently Chavo came up with the idea when he was attending a family barbecue and he saw kids riding on the hobby horses. However, Pepe would perish when Norman Smiley threw him in a wood chipper during a birthday celebration. And that does it for another episode of Wrestling Jeopardy. If you like what you saw, please give this video a massive thumbs up and consider subscribing and turning on all notifications so you can always find out when we come out with a new episode. My name is Kevin J. Callis, and I'll see you next time.